The theme of today's video is, is power monitoring. Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Gin with Spearing. And I'm joined today by Richard. We need to sort shirts out next time, Richard. <laughs> Richard is one of our newest product sales specialists. Power monitoring has been around for many years and we have the Alan Bradley Power Monitor 1000 with us today. But why the additional focus on power monitoring now, Richard? Yeah, thanks, Dan. The first thing to talk about is government legislation. Mm -hmm. it's all right. It's all right. The ESOS, Energy Savings Opportunity Scheme, forces companies with more than 250 employees to start looking at power usage and cost savings. At the end of the day, we all want to save money. Mm -hmm. By identifying where energy is being wasted and changing our processes, we can reduce the amount of energy being used. It also offers a great maintenance insight, as the power monitor can also assist with investigating unexplained downtime. Thanks for that, Richard. Really important areas there. But can you easily add this particular product into the Studio 5000 software? Of course. Ethernet communication is readily available so that the unit can talk directly to your PLC systems. It's designed to integrate with the Rockwell PLC portfolio, so Compact Logics, Control Logics, and therefore adds value to your new and existing machines. Okay, that covers that area, but what about Studio 5000 faceplates to make it easier for our customers and also SCADA visualisation as well? Yeah, there are pre-configured faceplates available to download from direct, from direct from Rockwell, making it easy to view live data on a HMI or SCADA system. So we're back again with the Power Monitor 1000 just to show a few features. Now obviously it has the integrated Ethernet IP port as we discussed earlier. Also there is a RS-485 block if, uh, if that's communication you're currently using. Um, you can connect your three phase supply up to 600 volts directly into the unit and also there is a current input and voltage output as well so you would need to use a current transducer so yeah there's just a, a brief overview of the PowerMind 1000. Brilliant, thanks very much for that. If you want to know more please get in touch with Richard on the below link and get innovating now. Thanks Richard for presenting and uh, again by also having the presenter age here today. Uh, subscribe to the Ritiko YouTube channel and see you next time for another gin with spearing. Thank you. This month's gin I've been enjoying has been recommended as being able to change colour. It's the Illusionist gin.